What does everyone spend money on that you refuse to spend money on? Daily lunches at work. Mostly the reason is they don't like to prepare it at home themselves. Occasionally I treat myself. It stays special this way. Buying textbooks from the school store. They're cheaper online to buy. And cheaper even still to rent. Not everyone but I know there are people out there who do this kind of stuff. Expensive shoes. I. E. Jordans. For my 4 year old child. Especially when he was even younger. Kids feet grow so fast it is just pointless and expensive and they shouldn't care about the brand. Redid coins. Coffee pods or K-cups. I only use the refillable kind. Bottled water. Starbucks. Edit. Haven checked Reddit in a while and didn't expect quite the response. I live in a place where our water doesn't taste bad and I love using my stainless steel cups and water bottles anyway. I don't really like coffee and can't see spending money on it. Especially at a place like Starbucks. Food delivery services like DoorDash and Uber Eats. I looked into it once or twice. And it's ridiculous how expensive it is. And not just the delivery fee plus the driver tip. But the menu prices themselves are almost always higher on the app as well. I'll just get my ass in the car and drive to Chipotle myself. Thanks. The listening in devices. The whole Alexa Siri ETC thing is creepy as hell to me. Bad enough that my phone listens without me wanting it to. In. Edit. Well shit. This blew up more than I thought it would. Asterisk. Lottery tickets. A lot of people I work with buy them all the time. Alcohol and nightclubs bars. Extortionate where I'm from. Designer handbags. Shipping. I'll wait a week for free shipping. Thanks. Almost all of video streaming services at the same time. I don't need Netflix. Hulu. Disney Plus. And Prime Video if I can only watch one at a time. Those collectible figures. And statues. They are way too overpriced. Occupy too much space. And are dust collectors. No thanks. Edit. Dang. This became bigger than I thought. Coffee from coffee shops. Only because I'm broke. Though. If I had the kind of income to blow on that. I probably would. But only small stores. FCK giving Starbucks my money. Expensive meals. Like. I understand eating sushi every week is neat. And I do like sushi. But one sushi meal costs as much as my entire week of eating. Reddit awards and premium. I'm happy to be awarded them. It's just I'd much rather the money went to a charity than a corporation. Parking. Absolutely FCK that. Owning a car is already a great expense in life. My friends hate me but I'll park many blocks away from an event just to avoid the bill. One that especially ticks me off is paid parking in emergency car parking lots. Lots of women at my work are spending $100s a month on these ridiculous eyelash extensions. They look like giraffes. Really weird. Fresh vegetables and fruit from the market. There are several markets in my town and there's pretty much one every day of the week at least. Usually. They're crowded. I've never bought from them. Instead. I go at the time the market is closing down and the sellers are packing up. They throw away tons and tons of vegetables. Fruit. Aromatic herbs. Nuts. That have been damaged or have gone bad. This means they will often throw out an entire case of fresh fruit because a few of them on top have gone bad. A lot of people go at that time and go through the cases and leave with bags full to the brim with produce. My mother taught me to go. And I've also gone with friends. There's a lot of old people who go because they're not working at that time. I work from home so I'm free to go whenever. And a lot of them are friendly. Some old people handed me fruit from a case they are grabbed. Or recommended recipes for produce I was picking up. I often go to the Arab market. And I'm North African. So oftentimes the sellers will specifically hand me stock they're throwing away because of the sense of community. 
It's actually a pretty cool weekend outing on top of filling my fridge with quality produce completely free of charge. Getting food delivered to my house. Sauce. My parents have like 50 sauces in their fridge. I see them use like less than 10 regularly. Interest. I'd rather save up money and buy what I want later. After stream and Rockstar stole money from me I went back to piracy full time. And I couldn't be happier. Cell phone warranties. I've always taken great care of my electronics so there's never been a need for me to get one. Car loans. Best self impoverishment program available. Lululemon. Upgrading a PC every single time newer hardware comes out. It's bad enough spending over you a cute one. 000 on a computer but I spend that much expecting it to be top of the range for at least 5 years but when people spend unnecessary money upgrading every single year for the smallest of performance games when their original parts are still very capable I think what's the point? Why are you spending money on unnecessary upgrades when your machine is still very capable? Meal kit boxes. They advertise being cost effective at $12 meal per person. But I spend $100 per week at the grocery store for the week which includes lunch, snacks, and dinner every day. Funka pop figures and things like that. I find them aesthetically displeasing and I generally dislike clutter. I don't understand the mentality of people who like to be surrounded by physical objects like dolls, toys and act. Bottled water. I just can't do it no matter how thirsty I am. I'd buy any other bottled drink. I just can't bring myself to buy bottled water. Paper napkins. Paper plates and paper towels. For everyday use so they don't have to wash things. I don't buy them and somehow I've managed. Diamonds. Their price is artificially inflated due to a monopoly. In reality they're not that rare or valuable. Bottled water. I bring my reusable bottle everywhere. I am fortunate enough to live in America where water is free. Why spend money on it and also create litter? Branded fancy clothes. If my current ones are doing fine. I don't need new ones or fancy tag ones. Marriage ceremonies. Marriage is supposed to be for the couple. Not for the 250 relatives. They should be spending savings over themselves rather than putting up a show. Clickouts. Why would I pay $20.50 just for someone to cut my hair? I just kind of let the tea grow. Until I go home for Christmas and my mom freaks out about my split ends and cuts it for me. Very cost effective. And there are. Expensive sneakers. I get that more expensive sneakers name brands would last you longer than sneakers and shoes from somewhere like IDK. Pay less. But goddamn. I can't fathom paying for $100 to $300 sneakers. Hell anything around $50 makes me sputter. A lot of people rag on me for wearing the same shoes every day and not getting new ones. But I just don't see the point you know? The ones I have cost me a good $50. And I'm still reeling myself in over it. My family members convinced me to treat myself. I wear them every day. And you can't tear me away from them because I want my purchase to mean something lol. Shirts with giant ass logos like Nike, Adidas, Calvin Klein etc. It's free advertising for them. I still buy all those brands but the logo is either small or hidden. Anything you don't need. Like I get food clothes and such but why will you ever need a $500 toaster when a simple $30 one will do just about the same thing smart toaster reminder that you have toast toasting i'm surprised that you haven't set the house on fire while taking a shower in your smart home perfumes i find them too overwhelming and rather pointless they aren't effective at masking body odor i know some people use them for the sensory aspect and the pricey ones do smell good but I can't find myself spending dollar sign dollar sign dollar sign on them. A car. Obviously a must for many people. Especially who live rurally. And I understand it's harder in the US. I'm British. But when you add the capital cost of the car. The cost of fuel. Tax. 
Servicing and parking it really spirals and if you can get away with not having one it seems like a no-brainer. Shoes. What's the point of spending thousands on some easy garbage that won't last the month? Sneakers are like cars. Once you buy them they lose value immediately. Eyeshadow palettes with big names attached to them. My friend has at two Jeffree Star ones and she dropped $40.60 on each of them. You could get so much makeup at Target or elsewhere with that kind of money. A fancy car. Meaning BMW. Mercedes. Etc. My 10 year old Accord is just fine. I live outside of New York City. Roads are crap. Drivers are crazy and I park in the city almost daily. It seems crazy to lease or buy a fancy car for daily use. As a second car for weekends sure. But two leased BMWs? Tim Hortons. It started going downhill when they stopped making the baked goods fresh in store. And the nail in the coffin was when the Burger King merger happened and they changed their coffee. Not that the coffee was fantastic before that. But it was nowhere near as bad as it is now. Expensive clothes. Like $90 for jeans or a shirt. I bought cheap shoes in middle school. They are still fitting and in good condition. I don't understand why clothes can be so expensive like cheap jeans will be more solid than expensive ones. My current pair of pants, $12, are from 2015 and they don't seem old. Stroke, 